In this video, I'm going to present some solutions to common synchronization issues you may encounter in Max. Now, here I have a metro, and the interval is specified at 500 milliseconds. So every 500 milliseconds, a bang is produced, which is sending this MIDI note to this make note. Now, milliseconds isn't exactly a musician-friendly time format, and it might be more helpful to have a beat relative format. So I'm going to specify, instead of milliseconds, uh, the note value syntax. And anywhere you specify a duration in max, you can use the note value syntax. So if I want to specify a quarter note, I could just say 4n for a quarter note. And note that when I click this toggle, the bangs start immediately. You can change the tempo here. So I'm going to start the metro. And as I change the tempo, it follows. Now, the key thing here is that when I start the metro, it goes immediately, which makes kind of sense if you're dealing with milliseconds that aren't related to a transport. But if you have multiple metros in your patch, you could encounter synchronization issues depending on when you click the toggle. So let's say I've got another set of these, and I'll specify a different MIDI note, like 67 and I'm going to start these metros at different times. So while the interval between these metros is still a quarter note, because the metros were started at different times, the interval is making the notes sound like they don't match and they don't have any sort of relationship to the transport. If you want that, which is probably what you're expecting when you're using beat relative syntax, you need to use another attribute and that's the quantize attribute. So I'm going to say at quantize, and you specify the, the value that you want to quantize to. And now instead of starting immediately when I click the toggle, Metro is going to wait until the next quarter note in order to output that bang. So now these are in sync with each other. The next technique we're going to discuss is to emulate that really cool clip quantization feature in Ableton Live. So when you play a clip in live, it starts on the downbeat. If you want to do that in Max, you have to use an object called one bang. One bang does exactly what the name implies. It only sends one bang. Into this first inlet, we're going to feed this with a beat relative metro. Now, I'm using note value syntax here, quarter note, and if I want to have larger intervals that are relative to the transport, I might want to use bars, beats, units. This metro is going to bang at the downbeat of every bar. So I've specified one bar, zero beats, zero units. And the next thing I'm going to do is because this is going to be fed into a one bang, I want this metro happening all the time. I don't want to have to add a toggle to it. So I'm going to add an attribute that is going to specify the active status. So I say, at active, can't type, on. And this goes into the first inlet of one bang. Now let's add a bang to the output of one bang. And you can see that nothing's getting through because this second inlet, I can provide a trigger. And I'm going to specify this trigger with like another bang. So I'll make a really, really big bang here. And the downbeat is going to trigger this MIDI note that I have coming over here. So these metros are not on. This metro is going. Let's add a bang just to demonstrate that this is actually happening. So there's the downbeat. And now this bang, I'm going to connect to the one bang. And this is going to trigger some sort of action that's going to happen on the downbeat of the next measure. So there's a downbeat. And now I click. And there it is. I hope this was helpful because I get these comments a lot from my students. And I'm hoping to eliminate some of the confusion when it comes to synchronization issues in Max.